best of your health and uh, I hope you are adapting to coronavirus safety measures uh, that are actually very necessary for you people in order to prevent the corona. So <clears throat> today our topic is deep peroneal nerve. The deep peroneal nerve is the nerve of the anterior compartment. This is the introduction of deep peroneal nerve. It is the nerve of anterior compartment of the leg and torsum of the foot. So this is anterior compartment of the leg. This area is the anterior compartment of leg. And this is here lies the ankle joint. This is the dorsum of foot. Dorsum of foot. Suppose this is lateral side and uh, this is medial side. So it is the introduction of deep peroneal nerve. The deep peroneal nerve is a nerve of anterior compartment of the leg and the dorsum of foot. The nerve is correspondence to the <coughs> posterior introsious nerve of the forearm. Posterior interosseous nerve of the forearm is actually supplying the extensor compartment of the forearm. So this is also the extensor compartment of the leg. Anterior compartment is also known as extensor compartment of the leg. So this is a, a terminal branch of the common peroneal nerve. Suppose this is common peroneal nerve and uh, it divided into two terminal branches at the lateral side of the neck of fibula between the peroneus longus muscle into two terminal branches the one is known as deeper peroneal nerve and the second one is superficial peroneal nerve so this is deep peroneal nerve which is given off in the peroneus longus muscle so here here lies the peroneus longus muscle. So that's landmark. This is the course of the deep, deep peroneal nerve. This is peroneus longus muscle. Longus muscle. The nerve enters the anterior compartment enters the anterior compartment by piercing the anterior intermuscular septum so here lies the anterior muscular septum and by piercing this it enters into the anterior compartment of the leg so this is anterior compartment of leg compartment of like this landmark is the anterior compartment of leg. It then descends downwards and it pierces the extensor digitorum longus muscle. It pierces extensor digitorum longus muscle. This is extensor digitorum longus muscle. So these are three landmarks. Then it uh, descends downwards and uh, at the dorsum of the foot at the ankle joint it terminates into two branches that is medial and lateral branches so this one is lateral branch branch and this one is medial branch In the upper one third of the anterior compartment and uh, the lower one third of the anterior compartment of the leg, the nerve lies lateral to the anterior tibial vessels, lateral to the anterior tibial vessels but in the middle one third it lies anterior to them. Suppose this is upper one third and uh, this is middle one third and this is lower one third 
in upper and lower one third it lies lateral to the it lies lateral to the anterior tibial vessels so it lies anterior to the suppose is our anterior tibial artery so it lies lateral to the anterior tibial vessel and here is also lies anterior to uh, lateral to the anterior tibial vessels but at the middle one third it lies anterior to the and anterior to the anterior tibial vessels so it lies anterior to the anterior tibial vessels so this is all about the course of deep peroneal nerve we are going to talk about the lateral branch and the medial branch that are terminating branch of the deep peroneal nerve the lateral branch turns laterally so this is lateral side i have told you already turns laterally and ends in a pseudo ganglion and ends in a pseudo ganglion and supplies the extensor digitorum brevis muscle remember one thing that the extensor digitorum brevis is not the muscle of anterior compartment of the leg and is it is supplied by the lateral branch of deep peroneal nerve though not the trunk of the deep peroneal nerve Uh, so remember also this is a very important point the uh, dorsum of the foot also have a muscle that is extensor digitorum brevis but the dorsum of the hand do not contain any muscle so branches uh, that arises from the pseudo ganglion then supplies extensor digitorum brevis muscle and the tarsal joints also about the medial branch Uh, the medial branch is uh, a cutaneous branch that supplies the skin adjoining the in first interdigital cleft first interdigital cleft inter digital cleft and proximal joint of the big toe proximal joints of the big toe joints of big toe so what is uh, first interdigital cleft suppose this is your foot and this is first interdigital cleft this is second this is third fourth so we are talking about the foot not the hand so this is first interdigital cleft this is your big toe so the first interdigital cleft the skin adjoining the first interdigital cleft is supplied by the medial branch and the proximal joint of the big toe is also supplied by it uh, so let's talk about the muscular supply of the deep peroneal nerve so muscular supply the muscular supply is to the muscles of the anterior compartment of the leg and it includes uh, extensor digitorum longus extensor hallucis longus tibialis anterior muscle and uh, peroneus tertius muscle the extensor digitorum brevis muscle is not supplied by the trunk of the deep peroneal nerve but it's uh, but it gets its supply from the lateral branch of deep peroneal nerve that acts in a pseudo ganglion i have told you already so what are the cutaneous innervation the cutaneous innervation of the lateral terminal branch is by forming the dorsal digital nerves dorsal digital nerves that supplies the adjacent side of second and big toe adjacent sides of first and second row so these are all about the cutaneous innervation and uh, i have told you already about the cutaneous innervation of the medial terminal branch this is about the later terminal branch so now what are the articular branches articular the articular branch is given to the ankle joint tarsal joints tarso metatarsal joints meta tarsal joint and metatarsophalangeal joint of big toe meta
डार्सो फेलेंजियल जॉइंट ऑफ बिग So this is all about the deep pronin nerve and its have a clinical 